This lecture illustrate how we can convert a Newman projection formula to feature projection formula. For example, let us say we have this Newman projection formula and we want to convert into feature projection formula this has two carbon so one carbon this is the front carbon and this is the circle is the back carbon so we have two carbon here we want to convert into feature projection formula in which chlorine are on vertical line so we have to decide what are the groups at this position at this position and this position and this position so chlorine on vertical line so we have to decide what groups are here so first we will convert this Newman projection formula into Sahar's formula if you see this Newman projection formula this is the back carbon and then we have front carbon so this is back carbon this is front carbon on back carbon we have a by that is upward on the front carbon we have a by that is inverted now let us say back carbon left side we have hydrogen right side we have methyl group and Cl we have downside front carbon left side hydrogen right side we have methyl and chlorine we have on the vertical line now we need in feature projection formula chlorine on vertical line so anything in feature projection formula is on vertical line goes down to the plane so groups on vertical line in feature projection formula lies down to the plane so we will try to make this chlorine this chlorine is so if I look from the top so this is I this chlorine is away from the eye that is downside the plane but this chlorine is not away from the eye so what we will make we will try to rotate this bond now if I rotate this bond this carbon is as it is so we have hydrogen here we have methyl here we have chlorine if I rotate by 180 degree then this by will become upward by something like this now CL that is on top either after rotation by 180 degree it will come on the bottom methyl that is here after 180 degree rotation it will go diagonally opposite so it will be somewhere here so methyl we will have here hydrogen it will go slightly 180 degree opposite so this will be here now we can easily convert this formula into feature projection formula so once we have converted into Sahar's projection formula with 2 by a straight 2 by so upward 2 by so we have 2 by that is upward now we can easily convert into feature projection formula so what we have to do we have to look from the top so look from top so if you will look from top these two chlorines so let us call this carbon is 1 this carbon is carbon 2 so chlorine are away from you so this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2 both chlorines are away from you that is downside the plane now if I am looking from top these two groups are left side 
that is on carbon number one hydrogen is left side carbon number two methyl group is left side so we have to put these hydrogen and methyl groups left side now let us say this methyl this is right side so this one is right side this is my bisector plane so bisector plane this side is left side and this side is right side so this is left side and this one is right side so on carbon number one methyl group is right side on carbon number two this is bisector plane so hydrogen is right side so we have this is the feature projection formula for the same compound let us try again so we have another problem so we'll do the same problem with slight change chlorine chlorine so we have chlorine here now let us change this methyl this side and hydrogen this side we have methyl hydrogen and this side we have methyl and this side we have hydrogen we want to convert this formula into feature projection formula and we want cl group so two cl group on vertical line in feature projection formula so how we will do so first task is to convert Newman projection into Sahars so first convert into Sahars this carbon is back carbon this carbon is front carbon so on back carbon we have regular by on front carbon so this is back carbon this is front carbon we have an inverted by now on back carbon left side we have methyl right side we have hydrogen on bottom we have chlorine on front carbon we have left side hydrogen right side methyl front we have chlorine now we need chlorine on the bottom so what we can do we can rotate this group by 180 so we can rotate either clockwise or anti-clockwise it does not matter so if I rotate by 180 degree the back carbon will remain as it is but the front carbon will have this group will go down so we will have a regular by so let us put this back carbon first now if I am rotating by 180 degree this chlorine will come here and this methyl is here will go 180 degree away so it will be here so methyl will be here now hydrogen will be here because we are rotating by 180 degree so it will go diagonally opposite so methyl is initially here so it will go diagonally opposite here hydrogen is here it will go diagonally opposite here so we have this group we can convert this into feature projection formula if I am looking from the top so let us call this carbon is 1 this carbon is 2 so on both carbon we have chlorine that is away from the observer that is chlorine is on the vertical line now if I look this side this is left side so this is bisector plane so this is the plane of bisector So this methyl group is left side and carbon number 2 methyl group is also left side carbon number 1 hydrogen is right side carbon number 2 hydrogen is right side so this is the feature projection formula now if you see this compound has a plane of symmetry so there is a plane of symmetry
So this compound is not optically active. So this is meso compound, not optically active. The first compound is basically optically active. So this compound is not meso because there is no plane of symmetry. It has a chiral carbon. This carbon is also chiral. So it has no plane of symmetry. So this is optically active. We have one more possibility. So let us do one more exercise. From the initial compound, if you see, we have chlorine on the vertical line. Now initially we have in one, so this is one, two methyl groups are right side. Now let us put these two methyl groups left side. Let us call this compound is three and this one is two. So we have to convert this compound into feature projection formula. So we have three possibility. One time these two methyl groups are left side, another time methyl groups are right side, another time methyl groups are anti to each other. So one is methyl is here, another methyl is here. So this is anti or trans. We can first convert Newman into Sahars. So this is back carbon, this is front carbon back carbon we have regular by on front carbon we have an inverted by on back carbon we have methyl left side hydrogen right side chlorine is downside front carbon we have methyl left side hydrogen right side chlorine in top we need feature projection formula in which chlorine is on vertical line so we need chlorine on vertical line and this can be done if I rotate this molecule by 180 degree about this bond carbon front and carbon back bond so bond this rotation is along carbon back and carbon front bond so rotation along carbon front and carbon back bond so if I rotate the back carbon will remain as it is front carbon we will have now regular by so we are rotating by 180 degree in this direction chlorine will go down now hydrogen will go diametrically opposite so hydrogen will be here methyl will be here now if I look from the top we will have two chlorine on vertical line this is left side so this methyl group and hydrogen group so this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 methyl is left side here we have hydrogen that is left side here we have hydrogen and here we have methyl that is right side hydrogen is right side methyl is right side so this compound is also optically active Let us try to call this compound is A. So first one let us call A. Second one let us call B. So this is here. And this one is C. If I make the structure of A, A is hydrogen and methyl left side. So we can draw the feature projection formula of A. we have chlorine we have another chlorine methyl and hydrogen now if you see A and C are basically mirror image to each other so this is also optically active and C is also optically active and they are mirror image to each other so A and C are enantiomer
we have one more possibility that is the if I have these two methyl groups diametrically opposite but this time let us put these two methyl groups diametrically this side opposite. So fourth possibility this methyl is this side and this methyl is this side. If you convert into feature projection formula, I will find this is again a meso compound. So let us try first convert into Sahar's projection formula. So this is front carbon, this is back carbon, and this is front carbon. So back carbon hydrogen, methyl, chlorine, front carbon chlorine, methyl, hydrogen. I need chlorine on the bottom. So let us rotate by 180 degree. So back carbon will remain as it is. Front carbon we will have regular by hydrogen methyl chlorine. Now this chlorine will go on the bottom. This hydrogen will go diametrically opposite. Methyl will go diametrically opposite. Now let us look this molecule from the top we can convert this into feature projection formula. This is carbon 1, this is carbon 2. Carbon 1 and 2 both have chlorine group. Hydrogen we have left side and methyl group we have right side. Now this compound let us call this as D and this is again has a plane of symmetry. So this is meso compound. So this one is again meso compound. Basically B and D both are same. So B is also meso compound and D is also meso compound. So B and D both are same. B and D both are same compound. Optically inactive and optically inactive. So if you see for this compound we have chlorine, chlorine, hydrogen, methyl, methyl, hydrogen. We have two chiral carbon. So four enantiomers or four optical isomers are possible but one is meso. So total three optical isomers are possible. One is optically inactive and two is optically active. So if I have to find whether given Neumann projection formula is optically active or not, first we have to convert into Sahar's projection formula, then we can convert into feature projection formula to decide whether given compound is optically active or not.